Now this is the Nakshan's Leap Project. This is named after the head of the tribe of Judah, Nakshan ben Aminadav. And the rabbinic Midrash says that when Moshe and the children of Israel reached the Sea of Reeds, uh, they were very scared. Uh, the Egyptians were coming towards them, there was water in front of them. And this head of the tribe of Judah, Nakshon, he jumped in the water before it split. And he was walking through and it was going up to his nose. And the rabbis say in his merit, and with the direction of Moshe and his prophecy, the sea split. So this is what our group is all about. It's about the Leap of Faith Band for people of different backgrounds, different faiths, to work together through music. And you really see music as a universal language. So when we're playing, we have a song, we have a structure, and then inside the structure we're talking to each other. As jazz or improvisational musicians do, we're thinking about this as a divine language, a way to open up all the communication and the bridge between people. That's really the mission of Nakshan's Leap. We're really excited to put this project together uh, post-COVID to bring us all back to the studio and start working together. And now we're going to bring this vision to total fruition by combining classes, on teaching universal language to individuals and participants and really uh, in the central idea is to let go of the idea of audience that every audience member will participate in the music we'll train people before the show people interact with us during the show and then of course after the show so we have many principles at work here but the key features are music as a universal language uh, the idea that there's one God there's one human family there's one love and that uh, an audience member really is a participant in the music second part of the project is a system that I call Beit Abalafia. In Hebrew, Beit Abalafia means the home of Abalafia. And Abalafia was a rabbi, his full name is Rabbi Abraham Abalafia, living almost 800 years ago in Spain, Italy, Greece, even Israel. Uh, his main idea is that meditation can come through the permutation or the different arrangement and combination of Hebrew letters. So he would take four Hebrew letters and he would arrange them into 24 different possibilities. When I used to study this, I didn't understand what was going on. And I used modern jazz improvisation as the decoder key to break this Kabbalistic system. So what I do with the system is I show the four Hebrew letters have 24 different possibilities of combination and so do four music notes. And when you combine those four music notes with the letters, you can develop your own language. And in that way, the melodies can come out naturally. There's a structure to get started. And this gives us the avenue into talking in a universal language. This was a big concept of Abulafia, universal language, universal Kabbalah. And I think that's really what the world is seeking now is some type of universal way of talking, some type of way of sharing in a mode that is music that has no restrictions at all. So we're very excited to bring the Nakshon's Leap Project with the Beit Abalafia to the venues that are interested in us coming. We're particularly excited to work with Rabbi Maho Bayo of Phoenix uh, to bring this project. He was the first one to reach out to us and ask if we could do the full session, the full vision uh, with his JCC. So we're very excited to work with him. This will be coming up next year in 2022 and many good things to come.